Hello everybody, Adam at Flash Building here with another Fireworks CS4 tutorial. And in the last lesson we left off and we created active web layouts in Fireworks alone without using Dreamweaver and press F12 and you can see what we ended up with here. And without using Dreamweaver we made links, made roll over and roll out, all that good stuff. And uh, so what we're going to do in this one is show you how to to create a drop down a pop pop up drop down type menu on one of these buttons here you can do it you can choose to do it for all of the buttons if you like so all of these already have behaviors that we set upon them in the last lesson and I'm gonna link to the last lesson right here so if you want to check out the first one you can click that link right there and uh, so let's uh, take the behaviors off let's delete all behaviors so what you do is you highlight this slice and you click the center uh, dot and then you delete all behaviors so now if you press F12 you'll see the delay the behaviors are gone for that the other three are still active okay so let's go back in and let's add pop-up menu this time now on the content tab of the pop-up menu editor let's type in what we want in there so that's products so let's say we're a clothing store or something let's put shirts and as you type in to the the bottom most field it's it'll add another one for you to type in automatically you'll see I'll type pants see how it added it automatically or you can hit the plus sign here and say hats and shoes okay so the way you set up the links on this one is right here you just double click that and say on your server in your root directory you would have shirts.html that's how you link to that shirts page that you have it's linked to the pants page or you can put the whole HTTP www dot slash slash w and or you know your whole site URL leading to that page. You can put the full link instead of the relative link. So this would be hats dot html, and this one would go to your shoes page shoes dot html. Okay, so. <coughs> Let's see. Da, 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 da. Advanced hmm. target. You can set the target to blank self, parent, or top. I'm just going to leave it default, so it'll default to self. Um, let's go to appearance now. In the appearance tab, you can select HTML or image, and I'm going to choose image and I like the little configuration I have here see you can change the way these look very easily I'm gonna leave it on the one I had which was the that one there and then for the overstate it's yellow let's make it blue Brr. there we go and now so you can set what the text will be see how it's on the overstate the text is black here and the overstate it's white there and you can see how those are all set up now if we go to position well let's go to the advanced tab so that's a that's pretty much it for the appearance tab and there's a bunch of different settings you can set in there and I advise that you guys go through and check out the whole thing you can even make a horizontal menu if you wanted but it's best if you experiment with all these little settings in here and check out what they all do but to create what I'm going to create, that's as far as I need to go. So the cell width is good at 88. See if I change this to 100, it'll make those bigger. But 88 was nice. That's a good size. The cell padding, all the different stuff. The menu delay is amount of time before the menu disappears when their mouse goes away from the the menu. It's set for a one second delay and that's fine with me now let's go to pop-up borders yep 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 
you can set all of this stuff and check out what everything does. Now let's go to position make sure it comes out from the bottom so it's set menu position to bottom of slice you can set it to the right top uh, and off to the bottom right so let's see what we get let's press done and you'll see that we need more space here so let's go to canvas size anchor point top so it pushes down and let's set this to 140 that should be a good size alright and we even have room for another button in that menu if we want it there so now let's press F12 see what we get nice new behavior see it's pretty cool and you can see it uh, it navigates away let me see one thing here let's add simple rollover behavior again press F12 now it lights up like it should okay so now you see we gotta center that thing it's not really coming down where we want so let's fix that oh, and I should mention to you guys when working with the uh, building active web layouts and fireworks you should go to the view tab and select to view uh, you know smart guides guides tool tips and slice overlay and a few other things that way it'll just give you a better reference to where things are and how they're gonna act or how they're gonna be positioned and so what was I gonna show you how to do okay so let's go into the uh, edit the pop-up menu now so now we can go to position and we have to offset that to maybe 12 press done so we offset the X position now you can see it's more lined up center so let's go ahead and press F12 to publish it out or render the file that's more like it that is beautiful you can't beat this for ease ease and customization Dreamweaver doesn't even come close um, but they're different kind of tools you know so uh, so what will happen here is let's just say you wanted to make a whole site so let's go ahead canvas size anchor down or anchor it to push down and then say 600 so your site would be 888 wide and 600 tall 600 high press OK now there you go now you got all that room to do any kind of custom layout you want so let's go into the layers and let's minimize these folders or collapse and you can see layer one is locked and on the web layer we have our slices and everything so let's lock all four of those slices. The web layer is highlighted. Let's add a new layer. Now we have layer two. Let's name layer one. What should we name this? Uh, menu bar. Menu bar graphics. Or whatever you want to name it and then layer 2 you can see there's nothing on it yet so it's lock layer menu bar graphics and on the web layer there's all the slices so let's see what happens if we position put something on layer 2 under the slices so on layer 2 we'll add a say you had a banner that was going to run let's see be about that big under your menu and everything let's see if we can yeah. okay so it lets you move it around and you have to put it on a separate new layer like that to be able to access it this way
and then uh, let's see what happens if we publish if our menu pops over it that's good it's exactly what we wanted so you can see how your web page would come to life very easily in fireworks you can have uh, the ultimate in control over the looks and the graphics and the hotness of the site you know what I'm saying and it'll work just like an HTML site it's not flash it's all HTML and JavaScript and CSS based functionality so let's go ahead and close that and let's say you wanted to have more buttons you would just add more uh, slices so if you had a uh, footer let's say you had a big footer down here and on top of it you had some text so there's a link and all you would have to do is add another hotspot add a new layer So that pretty much shows you how you can get your whole website created easily in Fireworks. Let's put some text. Easily create your entire website in Fireworks alone. Publish it out. It's beautiful. You can put all the images you want, all the custom graphics, little characters you draw, whatever you want to do. And uh, that pretty much wraps it up. So that showed you the functionality of placing drop down menus on, on your menu bar in the header. And uh, we showed you how to make new layers, a new layer to put new graphics separate from that menu bar and header and you can use the same method to make new hotspots and browser functionality like we did for the first set okay so hope you enjoyed this lesson and once again rate it nice and high and comment comment on it if you guys want to see more in fireworks cs4 okay we'll see you next lesson well actually let me show you how to export it out file export it's going to be the same deal as last time this time we're going to create a new folder and call it site and then inside we'll name this all site so that way everything will have that prefix so press save now let's look in the folder site there it is you can see all the elements were rendered out site CSS file and HTML file open that well let's open this with Dreamweaver here Dreamweaver CS4 open desktop Christian site and there it is so you can get to the source code go into design view and you can see that you can't add anything to the uh, to the design but you can work around it just press that put in more text put in more images go to properties get a background image for your whole site loaded in very easily set the link appearance and everything like that and you can further manipulate things from inside of Dreamweaver for your site okay we'll see you guys next lesson